Okay, D R L, which sounds really funny. Durl. All right, welcome to Applied Behavior Analysis. Anyway, <laughs> differential reinforcement of low rates, which means, think of it this way. You're going to do differential reinforcement, so you have that terminal or approximate behavior that you're going to get to reinforce, and then the procedure at the end. You have L, H, A, I, O, all that. So we're focused on D, R, L, or L, for those who are watching and dyslexic. Anyway, um, so what we want to do is, for instance, I'm going to give you an example of differential reinforcement of low rates. We're going to try to decrease things. Bob has a great time at parties in his frat house and ends up drinking a keg every Friday. Possibly a little too much alcohol consumption in one evening. A whole keg by yourself? Good luck having a liver. Anyway, the idea being, beer is an okay thing. You don't want to get rid of that. You're not going to completely remove responding to a zero rate. So we're going to teach Bob to lower his rate of responding or lower his drinking. See, IRT or inner response time. Another great example um, is done in the classroom. You have all the kids that are like, Hi, hi, teacher, I have a question, teacher, I have a question, I have to go to the bathroom. What's the meaning of life? What's... All this stuff, what's your philosophy talking about? When did you teach? Did you get married? Were you sick the other day? Way too many bloody questions to the point that class can't continue. DRL. You're going to reinforce lower and lower rates of responding per chunk of time.